I just want to work myself out of a job. That's my ultimate goal. CMHA's vision is mentally healthy people in a mentally healthy community. The Canadian Mental Health Association, or CMHA, currently has 21 people in supportive housing. Kenny Milne, the housing first team lead, explains the value of this approach. When you look at the statistics, 53% of them have an acquired brain injury. So I've got people that getting them access to services when they were homeless was impossible because they've got significant traumatic brain injuries from abusive relationships or whatever like that we don't think about as when we, when we don't humanize folks. But um, once they're housed, then they have a worker who can find them. They've got a place where they can store their stuff. We can start helping them organize. We can connect them to brain injury services. CMHA finds rental units the same way anyone in Kelowna would, by searching online and making phone calls. Every tenant is a risk, but when you're working with us, we offer the landlord stuff that you don't get with a regular tenant. You have a professional in your unit every week ensuring that no damage is done. You've got somebody that really wants to be there. You've got um, our guarantee that rent will be paid on time through our agency. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to homelessness, but when it comes down to it, we're all just people. Honestly, I think the main thing is we just treat people regardless of who they are with some dignity and respect. And I know that there's a lot of, because we, we get it from neighbors where they're like, oh, those people and they're scared. And it's like, but those people were you. They just hit a bad time and they've been in it for a long time. So if you go talk to them with respect and dignity, they're gonna give it back. Find out about Journey Home, housing, and other community initiatives at Kelowna.ca slash journeyhome.